And here we are for round one. Looks like we're playing against down by the riverside. We've got a nice keepable hand here, a couple of removal spells, turn three brazen wolves, get the beat down started early. Going against blue red. Let's see what he's got. Tormenting voice, fiery temper, all right. Getting some card advantage. I kind of like that he's getting rid of a removal spell for our wolves, but to me that signals that he probably just has another one, but we'll find out. Yep, cathartic green, fiery temper, kills our wolf. That's okay. We have no play. Hope to hit a land for self-assembler next turn. Here he's got an alchemist, and I don't really want... I'm not going to play bombardment for no reason. And I don't really want to use lightning axe, discard fiery temper until he plays something like self-assembler. So I'm content with not really doing anything. And here, I'm glad I didn't fiery temper his guy end of turn because it's the only madness card and it works perfectly with his tormenting voice. So I killed this guy, did not draw a land, but I did draw two gas spells. Pieces of the puzzle finds clutch and he bins everything else, so we know he has a clutch occurrence. We really can't hit a land, which is a little rough. Um, so we're going to play one alchemist here, and if I play the second, he's just going to bounce it one and then it beat me down. But I kind of want him to... I don't know, I just kind of want to have lightning axe plus galvanic bombardment discard probably open. Instead he goes for rolling thunder for five, which is killing my guy and then dealing two extra. So, or yeah, so five, yeah. So I guess I play, should have played my other alchemist too. Would have been the better play overall. But now that I hit five mana, I might as well just play the self assembler and get the train going. And he thinks it's appropriate time to get his going too. The problem is I get to untap first. So I'm going to Lightning Axe discard that Bombardment since now my Bombardments are online to kill at least Alchemists. And then I get my second Assembler going and I'm firmly ahead. So he's got 3-4 Bounce, my guy, Thardic Union. So like he's made his guy a 4-5 which is great but unless he's running turn aside or dispel main it's gonna die here so I feel like I don't need to draw any more cards with cathartic reunion my hand is just stacked so I just get rid of his blocker again bash him for four again and then still have two in play he plays one what else did he play he had to take inventory which is not gonna get him out of this so I just flame lash this guy Make him taste eight, and now he's just very dead. Yeah, he yeah killed a bunch of my guys, and he I think what he did is he went to yeah I can two galvanic bombardments, killed two of my guys, and then he clutched or just the wind to bounce my last assembler. I guess he's not dead yet. So I guess I can only play one guy, so. He's got his own. So I play Gavanic Bombardment, kill his 2 3. Now all I need to do is get rid of his guy. And if, yeah, I have Gavanic Bombardment number 3, which for one mana will kill his guy. And that's game. So against Blue Red Control, um, probably bring in the Alchemist um, Greeting to deal with these things. Like Pyrehound, Silph Assembler. Um, Probably bring in the 4 1 as well. Might take out some number of the Gavanic Bombardment since he doesn't have that many small things to kill. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we bring in. And this hand is fine. Okay, looks like we kept in the Bombardments, I guess. At least two of them. So here, uh, I could Cathartic Reunion, discarding like a Temper and like a Bombardment, but I'm scared that he's boarded in Negate, and that would just be kind of tragic. So I'm content to just kind of play slow. 
here. I guess I'll fire brazen wolves into like a spell shovel maybe, or a removal spell. See now, yeah. See now he has self summoner. I could just attack into it, but I can kill it pretty easily. So I'm gonna just lightning axe it to kill it and play fiery temper to his face. Um, I guess the first play I make is to hit the cathartic reunion off just to get ahead on cards. But I'm definitely gonna make this play of yeah, axe this guy, temper, hit him for four. So if he wants to keep playing self assemblers, he's gonna take four every turn. Okay, well he, he at least bounced my guy, which is good. So I figure I might as well get my assembler train started. Now I'm behind, so the clutch of the currents is pretty good. Got him ahead of the assembler train. Yeah, and now he's bouncing my, now he's hitting me for seven, so he's broken serve, so to speak. So now I just need some removal spells. So I think I do, um, uh, what do I do here? Yeah. I think I just killed this guy for one mana and played my own assembler. And then I'm willing to trade and block. If he has removal here, it'd be bad for me. But he just has a bunch of draw spells. And I will definitely trade. Because I know he has Rolling Thunder and stuff in hand, and, uh, his deck. So I figure Tormenting Voice. Let's just draw two and get a free creature into play. That's good. And then a Brazen Wolves. So now we have, you know, two more four power attackers. What's he got? Rolling Thunder probably. Yep. So Rolling Thunder for five kills both my guys and deals one to me. That's totally fine. Self-assembler train going. So does he. He's drawing more cards to take inventory, but I figure I just kill this guy, play my own. Just Right, having eight power in play to his none is pretty strong. Pieces of the puzzle finds tormenting voice, fiery temper. That's something, but it's not really gonna deal with. Yeah, take inventory. He has nine cards in hand, but no mana. So you can tormenting voice. Oh, this is actually a pretty cool play by him. He goes tormenting voice, uh, discard fiery temper. Pay for Fiery Temper. Let's see. It doesn't seem like Fiery Temper is very, very... Let's see if I can get it to skip this part. It did this on the last time I attempted the replay. But basically, he Fiery Temper discards it to the Tormenting Voice. Deals three to my assembler. Pays the one red here for this. He draws another mountain off of the Tormented Voice, or or he had it in his hand the whole time, plays it, has eight cards in hand, and then goes to discard, discards Fiery Temper for to, to hand side and, and kills my self-assembler. The problem is, is that I have four, minus nine is five, is two, three is Fiery Temper, and uh, yeah, this replay is stupid. But basically I win on the next turn, or the turn after that. But his play was pretty cool, but um, overall, the blue-red deck just... Like, look at the cards they're playing. Take inventory, piece of the puzzle. These cards just draw cards. And Clutch of Currents doesn't really deal with anything. It just makes a 3-3 three, three and bounces a guy. Like, the, the, the deck build is a little schizophrenic. Like, if you're playing Clutch of the Currents, you want to end the game fast and tempo them out. But with all this take inventory, piece of the puzzle, you're trying to grind them out with card advantage. Um, so like, it's just not playing enough threats to get ahead and not enough removal spells. And it's just like the mono red version is just better mana, doesn't stumble as much, has a little bit more flexibility. So I'm still convinced I like mono red more than blue red in this format. So, so yeah, that was round one. Let's stay tuned for round two.